I am Richard Southern. I'm the head of department at the National Center for Computer Animation at Bournemouth University. The National Center for Computer Animation was founded over 30 years ago and was founded on the principle of science in the service of the arts, which is a principle that we still apply today. We cover topics in computer animation, art and design, also in technical direction, virtual and augmented reality, and visual effects on the undergraduate programs. We see the purpose of technology in the visual effects and computer animation industry as a key driver for enhancing productivity to allow artists and practitioners in the discipline to focus on the decision making and the choices that really matter rather than to engage in uh, mundane and tedious practices. My name's Harvey Goodall, I'm the Head of Compositing at the National Centre for Computer Animation in Bournemouth. I teach the fundamentals of compositing, which is putting together different parts of an image, so a live action backplate with CG and maybe effects, combining layers of images. I've been using the Asus ProArt PA32 UCG, and the thing I love most about it is when you're dealing with very bright pixels next to very dark pixels you don't get that haloing that comes around. So that's most important when you're compositing and you're trying to see the in-camera effects versus the ones that you're adding in. You don't want those effects to come from the monitor itself. So seeing the natural image and then seeing what you're adding to it is really, really important to me. 10-bit color is absolutely essential when you're working as a compositor to see the true full dynamic range of colors. By restricting the colour range on a monitor, you're not seeing the true picture that's coming through from the camera. So you want the accurate representation, and that's what it's all about. True colour representation for the whole colour gamut. We're often using very, very large files and transferring and transcoding and swapping between hard drives. And having that Thunderbolt connectivity at the back enables me to connect up multiple hard drives, multiple sources of footage, with no concern about the data transfer speed. 1600 nits of peak brightness is really, really good for being able to see the bright, but more importantly for me is in the shadows, being able to see the details of the changing luminance in the dark details that you can't normally see on a lesser quality monitor. Well, there's no point shooting footage on a really expensive camera with an expensive DOP and good quality lenses if you can't actually see the quality of the image on your monitor. So the great thing about the Asus ProArt is the multiple HDR formats. So when I'm displaying it to students, I can explain the difference between something like Rec. 709 and Rec. 2020 and see the differences on the same monitor very easily just by clicking two buttons. So it's really a handy tool for teaching. The Asus ProArt was particularly useful when performing colour matching between different LED panels which we, which we had. The panel colours can really vary and their reproduction of Rec. 709 and Rec. 2020. I think it's really essential if someone is in the market to buying LED panels to make sure that they are doing a proper colour evaluation to make sure that the panel meets the needs of their particular production.